everyone, we're going to find the exact value of this expression using some indifference formulas. So I'm going to let this be my alpha plus beta. So the form we're going to use is this one. So basically what I need is I need my tan of alpha and uh, my tan of beta. That's all I need. So for my alpha, let's look at that. We have sine of alpha, if I rewrite this, equals three-fifths. Um, these are in quadrant one, both of these, so everything's going to be positive. That means using my Pythagorean identities, this is uh, sine is y over r, and tan is x over, I mean y over x. So you get y over x. <clears throat> so that's going to be tan of alpha equals y is 3, and your x is going to be 4 using your Pythagorean identities. So tan of alpha is 3 fourths. All right? And then we have um, tan of beta, which is just tan of pi divided by 6. That's going to be square root of 3 divided by 3. And then we can just use our formula. So we have, I'm going to write it out, just this part here. So we have tan of alpha plus tan of beta divided by 1 minus tan of alpha times tan of beta. So writing this out, we're going to get this equals 3 fourths plus square root of 3 divided by 3 divided by 1 minus 3 fourths times square root of 3 divided by 3. So this gives me um, 9 plus 4 square root of 3 divided by 12 and then because you have to get your common denominator to get your common denominator we get 12 so basically what I did is multiply this by 4 so this by 4 this by 3 so this by 3 so that just gives me that and the denominator is going to be um, uh, we're going to have the same denominator 12 so this is uh, going to be 12 minus 3 square root of 3. Again, if we need a 12, then you just uh, write everything out. All right. So now when you simplify this, these two cancel. And we have 9 plus 4 square root of 3 divided by 12 minus 3 square root of 3. And that's your final answer. A lot of times these, they're harder to rationalize the denominator, so we just leave it like that. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.